going live and I am live hi guys hope you are having a fantastic day so far let me check myself out mm -hmm. I look good I look good hope you're having a fantastic day so far cuz guess what I am I am having a fantastic day I've been running around um, trying to get things done around the house trying to just um, get things organized get my life in order okay so um, I'm hungry like I'm, I'm seriously hungry and as you all know I've been trying to eat healthy and I know that most of you guys will um, hello big fella big fella <laughs> all right so i know you guys know that i'm trying to eat healthy thank you guys i know this was a short notice but um coochie lover i, I don't want to I, I think it's coochie yeah. so hi everyone if you can i want to focus on this video so i know you guys know i've been trying to eat healthy what am i cooking i'm going to tell you what i'm cooking so i remember a friend of mine sending me um a text message Kiana, hi, 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 Jackie. So a friend of mine sent me a message and said, Stella, you have been giving us Ghana food. Hello, Linda. You have been giving us Ghana food. Hi, France, my people from France. So she said, hi, she sent me a message. She said, Stella, my husband is tired of eating Ghana food. All you do is cook Ghana food, cook Ghana food, cook Ghana food. And I'm like, I mean, I would choose Ghana food. I would choose Banku over salad anytime, any day, okay? Uh, but last night, I did really good. I chose salad over wache. I made this watcher, it was mm, fantastical, but I chose um, salad over watching. But this is going to be a quick video because if I say I'm going to like, oh, hi Scott. So if I say I'm going to cook, um, get into things, it's going to be, uh, it's going to take a lot of time. So I'm going to, this has been my go-to lunch lately. Um, forgive me, I'm going to take the camera off me. So what I have here, I'm doing like, it's, I, I call it cabbage taco, okay? So for my vegan people, for my vegetarian people, you can make this food if you are on a healthy journey. As you guys know, I've been trying to lose weight, so I'm trying to eat healthy. This food is, this is very, very tasty and it's highly nutritious for you, okay? It has little um carbs <laughs> it has like little uh, just a, a little amount of carbs in it and the carbs that is from um this food you get it from the vegetables so let me walk you through so i have my shell which i'm going to use cabbage you can use tortilla you know but i'm, I'm going to use cabbage and then these are the feeling the feelings that i'm going to put in there the feeling not the feelings okay sorry <laughs> the feeling i have um red bell pepper which i sliced up i have carrots here if you guys can see um say yes I have carrots here, I have red onions, I have chicken, um, boneless, skinless chicken thigh that I grilled, um, I think over the weekend. I'm going to use it. I have uh, garlic and ginger, grated ginger, about half a teaspoon of ginger, and I have um, one medium-sized garlic here. I have some parsley. Parsley is very good for digestion. If you are trying to lose weight, try incorporating a lot of parsley into your food. And of course, I was going to finish it off with avocado, but my avocado is not ripe. So um, I'll just save it for another day. I have um, pep salt and pepper to garnish it, okay? And so let's just start cooking here. I'm going to be cooking. I'm going to have, I'm going to have my 13-year-old brother help me out because I'm doing a live video. And as you can see, I'm using my phone and it's like in a selfie mode. Okay, so to start, I have about one and a half, tea, um, one and a half tablespoon of uh, coconut oil okay i'm using coconut oil the reason why i'm using coconut oil is it gives this recipe like a nice tasty flavor i kid you not like hi barbara <laughs> it gives this recipe like a nice tasty flavor and that is exactly what i'm going to do come on junior so i am going to start cooking focus on the pot i'm, I'm teaching my brother because he's focus all right all right mm -hmm. so i'm going to add my um onions I'm adding my onions. I'm adding my adi, um, and I'm going to be teaching you three as well. In Ghana, onion is called jene. Onion is called jene. So I'm going to saute this, you know, sort of going to cook it for anywhere to um, from two to four minutes so everything softens up, okay? This is a really, really tasty meal. It's so funny. Um, I'm going to let it cook while we talk, okay? So I'm going to let it cook. This is funny because, like, I was these days, I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I would tell my husband, I'm like, I want broccoli. Like, I'll be like, I'm like, I want to eat broccoli. Like, I, I, I want taco. Like, I want cabbage taco. I just, I'm just eating healthy, guys. Yeah. This is, this is a big deal for me. Oh, 
shadow Moses. The Ghana food, I'm telling you, my food, my fridge, my refrigerator is packed with Ghana food. If you need to know how to cook, Stella Zone is the place to be. I'm a jack of all trade, you know. I tell, I, I was telling my house, I said, look, this Stella Zone people, they don't know. I can cook healthy too. I know some people complain and all that is true. The Ghana food, which is, um, depending on how you cook it, it could be healthy. It could, but trust me, it's a lot of carbohydrates in our food. So, this is um, cooking live. You guys can ask me questions if you have questions about this recipe. If you have any questions, because this is a live cooking video. I'm hoping it will not take time. And I don't want to take much of your time. So, if you have any questions, um, let's just get talking. We could be talking, you know, you can be typing. I could, I could be talking. So, that it doesn't look like Stella likes to talk, you know, you feel me? Yes, like, guys cooking um what am i cooking i'm making i will say cabbage taco okay i will i will make um i'm making i call it cabbage taco this is my own thing that i came up with i just sometimes when i'm at church i pray god have mercy upon me when i'm at church recipe will just be coming in my head like i'll be like god i'm supposed to be um i'm supposed to be focusing Oh, okay, so I'm, 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 I'm letting it cook. That's why the camera is looking at my face, okay? I'm letting this onion um, cook. I'm letting it cook. Mm -hmm. I'm just letting it cook so it softens up. I don't know, you guys can see this. So I'm cooking the onion. This is, I'm telling you, this is a tasty recipe. Use coconut oil, okay? And I'm using this um, kind of coconut oil extra extra virgin coconut oil pure unrefined cold pressed organic i got this from amazon so you can get this from amazon okay and guys i feel like most of my subscribers i know right Come eating healthy yeah it's it's really good for and it keeps you fuller you know this food is like loaded with fiber so it keeps you fuller cooking is not i don't know if i'm crazy but i'm not crazy no stella's one is not crazy but cooking is not really hard like it's not i feel like most of my subscribers you guys can cook but you are just stressing it you know you are just stressing it <clears throat> but you can do it effortlessly okay okay so i don't want it i i, I love cabbage has become yeah deborah cabbage has become one of my favorite vegetables too like i would just i don't even like to if you want, you can just um, submerge this in hot water and let it soften up the cabbage. But I don't like to do that. I just like the crunchiness of the cabbage, so I like to eat it raw. Just, you know, when you put everything in there and then you bite it. Ah. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to add my red bell pepper. All right. Bring it down. Okay. So I'm going to add my red bell pepper. I'll add my ginger and my um, garlic in here as well. The reason why I do it this way is because you know um, the garlic can easily burn and I don't want, you don't want burnt garlic because it is bitter. Okay, this is, this is really healthy, easy to make. I'm telling you, you don't even need to make it, I mean, ahead of time. You can just throw everything together and voila, you are good to go. So I'm just going to let the red bell pepper cook, in, um, cook for two minutes, two to three minutes, because I don't want it too soft. Hi, people from London, Deborah. <laughs> so I don't want it to, um, and also, also now I move the camera to me, okay? And also one more thing. So let's say you want to, you, you are um, a vegan, you know, people that don't eat any form of meat. If you're vegan, what you can do is, um, instead of using chicken, you can use, <laughs> instead of using, hi Linda, instead of using chicken, you can use cooked quinoa. I don't know, for some reason, I cannot bring myself to eat brown rice. I don't know about you guys, if you guys like brown rice, but I am not somebody that can eat brown rice, but I love quinoa, and quinoa is loaded with protein. It's really, really good for you. So for my um, vegans out there, instead of using um, chicken, you can use, <laughs> Yeah, instead of using chicken, you can just use um, quinoa if you, are, if you are vegan, okay? All right. So look at this. This is cooking really, really nice. 
Can you guys see it? Mom is sapon. Oh, that's my brother's last sapon from Ghana. Hi. Guys, this is this is so delicious. This is so delicious. This is something you can make for yourself, for the family. Enjoy. <laughs> it's not everybody that can um I don't know, I don't know either. Like I try. <laughs> um Shadow Moses, I try I, I can bring myself to like I have tried to go plant based. And it, it's not, I mean, it's not going to work. I mean, can you imagine making palm nut soup, peanut butter soup without meat? Oh, uh, no. So, um, people that don't eat meat is their own choice. Um, those are people that eat only plant-based diet. But I try to go plant-based, you know, not every day, maybe once a while. Um, I can have meat, maybe, I can go plant-based maybe twice a, twice a week. All right, so this is, um, I don't want the red bell pepper to chain hey prince my brother ha ah, i was beginning to think you didn't get my memo but you got it you're online so i don't want the red bell pepper to overcook okay you don't want it i still want a little bit of like i want that crunchiness when you bite on it mm -mm, I, i'm telling you guys so i'm going to go ahead and add my carrots this is grated um carrots that i have here So this is grated carrots. So I'm telling you, this is sweet. It has a little bit of kick to it. If you guys don't know what I mean by a little bit of kick, the chicken that I baked, um, I baked this um, some days ago. I have it in the fridge. And the chicken, I made it a bit spicy. You know, I coated it, I cooked it. I added um, white pepper. I added white pepper and red cr um, crushed pepper to it too. So it's a bit um, spicy. So now that everything is in here, this looks so good guys, it looks so good. So as I add the carrots, I'm just, I just want the carrot to get the heat a little bit. So I only cook the carrots in the, um, with a mixture for about one to two minutes. So there you go. But how are you guys doing? How is your day? How are your days going so far? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's up, Jenny? Jenny. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, onion. How are your days going so far? Oh, people are asking me, Kelvin, I'm making um, taco, okay? I'm making, um, I would say cabbage taco. That's what I call it. I call it cabbage taco. All right, so this is ready, okay? What I'm going to add now is I'm going to add my parsley. Just give it a stir. I'm not cooking the parsley for too long, okay? So now I'm going to take this off the heat. <laughs> so you guys can see my cooking skills. <laughs> All right, and now what I'm doing is I'm adding my chicken in here. I just want to warm it up since it was in the fridge. And I'm not going to add any oil. I will just sprinkle a little bit of water on here to help it, um, just to warm it up, okay? And that is, <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, give it a try, guys. I'm telling you, if you are, if you are trying to eat healthy, if you are, I, I get sick. I get tired of eating Ghana food too, you know, every day, you know, eating banku, fufu, and all that. So I try to, um, lebu mebu, no, lebu mebu isn't around. Oh, this is something, this is, <laughs> my Ghana people, trust me, or somebody is asking me, if you can have this with yam, if you can have this with yam, I'm telling you guys, I'm trying to, so that we can eat healthy, okay? What's my husband's favorite meal? Um, Ghana food, watch it. He likes watch it and he likes all the food. Like that's, that's all I cook in this house. Like my husband eats everything, okay? Palm nut soup. He will even tell you how to make the palm nut soup and what kind of meat to use that he likes. So 
that is the boom me boom for you so i'm just making sure i'm just warming this up just to get it give it a little heat okay and i like the person i didn't mean to um cut you off what am i making i'm making <laughs> i'm making taco cabbage okay it's a stellar zone recipe that i invented i made that up okay so if you're asking me um, what can you eat this with yam? Like my Ghana people, like seriously, let's take a break from eating yam and fufu and all that. I'm trying to make you eat healthy, okay? Um, um, I want my subscribers to be healthy too, okay? So you eat this, you can serve this with rice. You can serve this with, um, you can even um, serve it with jollof rice, plain rice. But I am making, you know how taco is made, right? But I am, so I am done. I am done, 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 done. So this is me going to dish it out, okay? This is me, this is, oh, don't forget these, okay? Your pepper and your salt. <clears throat> I'm going to put some here, some pepper, some black salt, some, I said black salt, sorry, some black, black pepper. pepper and some salt, more salt. <laughs> Add some salt make it tasty focus my cameraman is it's it's okay he's learning <laughs> focus junior focus okay so this is done this is ready guys look at this look at this and i have my chicken here as well so this is what i'm going to do i have the cabbage okay so i'm going to start what i like to do is i want to i like to do sort of like a sandwich so i'll put some of the filling in here I'm telling you guys, I'll put some, some, of, the, some of my veggies. It's ve this is veggies on top of veggies, okay? You can never go wrong. If you are constipated, try this. It will make you go to... Look. <laughs> eat eat more vegetables, okay? Eat more fiber. If you are constipated. Ah, every day, banku, 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 banku. Now we are sweating. We are banku, sana we are sweating. Eh? Loosen, loosen your bowels. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this, this looks so good. So I like to, that's what I like to do. And then I will add the chicken to it. So I sort of like to make it look like a sandwich, you know. And then I add more. I add more on top. This is my lunch. I, I never I, I can never make it to all three tacos. I always end up just eating two of it because you know it's so filling. It's it's very very filling. And so two two things you can do. Okay, I have I like to eat it like that. But sometimes I will add a little bit of balsamic vinegar, just balsamic, just a, um just drizzle a little bit, a little bit of balsamic on top. there you go and you know this has like a sweet and tingling like taste and if you want to finish it off you can have some sliced avocado just on top guys i am telling you this is let guys what do you think so far what do you think this is this recipe is easy tell me i need feedbacks <laughs> what do you guys think this is it right here this is the almighty um taco taco um cabbage this is it right here. This is the taco cabbage. This is it. Delicious. Yes. It's similar to, it's like making the filling for a shadow. I will, in fact, present, present. Let me mark you. Prince, you are invited. <laughs> okay, of course. Um, I don't just like you. Oh, okay. Ah, my sister, you have to be humble in this life for... Yes, I, I like avocado, but mine is, I normally buy it to make like guacamole because um, Steven likes guacamole, so every now and and I, I like to make a smoothie with it. Like, I make avocado, if you guys haven't have, had avocado smoothie, oh my goodness, use this kind of, like this Mexican um, avocado. My goodness, if you have never had avocado smoothie, you should, it is so creamy and so delicious. So I've been trying to eat healthy, so my, my, my people, um, I'm going to take a bite and let you know what, what I think. Junior, <laughs> I'm going to take a bite. Right. Let me wash my hands first before some of you will come after me saying she did not wash her hands so, and she touched the food. Oh. So, 
Let me wash my hands. Let me show you how I eat this, okay? How this is about to go down, okay? All right, so I take one. Just fold it. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Mm. 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 <laughs> mm. This is so good. Yes, you can you can keep it in the fridge for overnight. I actually have some leftover from yesterday. Guys, I know it's rude. I'm sorry. I know it's rude trying to eat them. It's not, you, I, you guys had the crunch, right? That's why I prefer not to cook the cabbage. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Trinidad, hey. Guys, forgive me, okay? It's, I know it's very, very rude too. Like being. <laughs> Someone who. This is. Yeah, this is like very filling. You can make it ahead of time. Like, you can if you have kids and you are running around. <laughs> I know, right? They chop the boy. I know it's not cool. You can make it ahead of time and keep it in the fridge. Like I will have, I have leftover soap. You can have this for lunch because I have like three big um, cabbage tacos here, and I can sometimes I will make it through two or one, and then I will. Um, I will leave the leftover and have it for dinner. Like last night, I was telling Steven, I was like, I think I want to eat wache. But then I looked at the time, it was like um, 8, almost 9 p.m. And I'm like, I know better. I'm not going to eat wache and go to bed. So I ended up having um, my last um, taco cabbage. And it was delish. You know, it was, it, it can be simple. Like, it's just simple, simple things. Oh, what, what are the questions? Sorry, sorry. What are the questions you guys are um Brigitta, I'm sorry. What I was I was biting into the cabbage, so I might not have seen the questions. What are the questions you guys are asking? Please type the questions, let me answer it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was I just get carried away. So if you have any questions, guys, you can ask me. And yes, too much of avocado. Um, like somebody said it could be fattening. It's a, they say too much of everything is bad. So everything you do, do in moderation. Everything you eat, eat in moderation. Okay, if you guys have questions. You can um, ask me. I'm not trying to ignore your questions, but if you have questions, I'm sorry. I was biting into that juiciness, so I might not have seen your questions. So, Brigitte, please, you can um, resubmit your question. As I see it, I will answer it, okay? Guys, um, so I want to say thank you. Did you guys enjoy it? Like, did you guys enjoy it, like, the live video? Are you having... Oh, you need to go. You need, I know that now. Oh, you need to go. To go visit Ghana is just the ambience. The, even though you know Ghana is not perfect and all that, but when you go, the serenity like you, you see people on the street here. Good luck trying to even see your neighbor, you know. But you see people on the street, you go to the marketplace, it's just, it, it's just peace, it's just peaceful, you know. It, but you have to be careful because I mean, if you're a foreigner, sometimes like when I go to Ghana, I dress like um, I don't even dress like somebody from America, but these people are able to still tell that, you know, oh, she traveled outside and she came. So I will go to the market with my mom because sometimes they will try to um, overprice things just because they think um, you just came from my brother or something. Oh, 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 Brigitte, I was making um, taco cabbage. I'm sure you saw the picture, right? I'm sure you saw the picture. So your, what lotion do I use? I use Cetaphil. I use um, Junior, run upstairs and give me my lotion. I used Cetaphil on my skin. I know you guys have been, look, you guys have been asking me to do um, a skincare routine video. Naturally, I, I, I tell people all the time, I said naturally. Look, I am one that God take time to create, okay? Not bragging, guys, but I naturally I have beautiful skin. If you see my skin, naturally, naturally. I'm not like a light skin um, person, like Stevie would say chocolate mocha. <laughs> you call me chocolate mocha, so whatever that means. Um, what recipe? I just gave you the, um, I just did the, please. Yes, yes, so, um, Linda, thank you. So, um, oh, Junior, come there, people want to see. <laughs> I don't know, people say we look alike. This is my little brother, come on, this is my. 
<laughs> no, look, look into the camera. Hold on, the chart is. I don't know, people think we look like he's tall. Look, this guy's like only 13 and he's taller than me. I was telling him the other day, I said, if I misbehave the way he would discipline me. So, this is not advertisement, okay? This is what I use. This is Cetaphil. Yeah, he's shy, you know? Since I want to do YouTube, <laughs> I'm the only one that has to do YouTube, but I don't want to get my family involved because, and I respect that. Oh, thank you, Claudette. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So this is the lotion that I use because um, it's non-scented. If I use anything scented, you know, my skin will break down. Like, I will just break down. So anything that is scented, the only thing that I use, where can you find mortar and pistol? What do you, like, uh, Nisha, what do you, what do you need a uh, mortar and pistol? Let me show you the one that I have. If you're talking about the one to pound fufu, <laughs> you can get it from the African store. You can get, if you want, if you're talking about um, the one to, the mortar and the pistol to pound fufu, pistol, pistol, whatever, to pound fufu, um, you can get it from the African store. But for something like this, you can even get it on Amazon. I bought this um, when I went to Puerto Rico. I, I, yeah, I, get, I got this from Puerto Rico. So if you want something like this where you can just like ground your spices, just smash, just, just to, for cooking, not to pound fufu. Ah, for here in America, you're going to pound fufu. Um, you can make Ghana kebab next time. I will do that. So that is what I do. That is the lotion that I use. I hope this helps. Like I don't use anything. Um, sometimes once in a while, I'll do like a clay max on my face. Um, apple side and all I'll do... Um, what is it? Baking soda. I'll do baking soda. I, maybe I'll do that recipe and show it to you guys. I do baking soda. Hydrogen peroxide is very, very good for your skin. Trust me. Hydrogen. I use hydrogen. Hydrogen peroxide is really also good for your skin. So I do baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And then I mix them. I mix it up and then slap it on my face. Let it dry. And then I go in the shower, wash it up, rinse it up. My skin feels so soft like a baby's butt. <laughs> I can do advertisement, right? My skin feels so soft like a baby's butt. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, so everyone that has been asking me, there's no advertisement. This is what I use. Set the fail. Okay, you can find it on Amazon, any store. I can't use anything scented. Except for maybe, I'll use maybe sometimes um, scented soap and I'll be okay. But Abidjan Clayton. Like, I can't use Abidjan Clayton. Pour Clay. Pour Clay. Obana, I don't swear. Why hair more fat? No, no, not those lotions. Um, okay, I, so I'll make a video, Barbara. <laughs> You've never touched a baby's butt. Oh, Shadow Moses, you're making me laugh. So, uh, <laughs> hey, you, Mark, what did I say? <laughs> what did I say? So, um, that is it, but naturally, like, I don't have, you know, because sometimes some of these things can be hereditary, okay? You can inherit it from your hereditary okay you can inherit it from your parents like some people have like acne so bad like of all my family like i've never seen any the only person i've seen with the acne with is my brother prince you know and that was like a peanut reaction but my sister's face is fine my mom's face so it's it's you know even my grandmother at her age before she i did not even see wrinkles you understand what i'm saying so i told my husband i say if i'm going to get old look at me see me as i did you see me, your mother, you know, you see how I'm going to. So that is it right now. I don't use, I feel like people put too much on their skin. You tend to use, try and find something that works for your skin. A lot of you, stop abusing your skin. You're abusing your skin too much. You go to YouTube, you see that. <laughs> you go to YouTube, you see this, you will try. You see your friends say you will try. You, I'm, stop abusing your skin. I had a friend that I went to school with. She had a beautiful skin. But when she was about to get married, somebody told her, you know, use this on your face. And in fact, like, her face got messed up. She got bad acne. Her face was, like, oozing with, like, liquid and things, even on her wedding day. So, look, find what works for your skin. You don't have to go crazy. It could be something as minimal as bake. Look, baking soda does wonders, okay? Apple cider vinegar. I'm telling you, hydrogen. Stop abusing your skin. Stop. Your, their skin is so fragile like me i have such a sensitive skin so if that is all the questions i would like to wrap up guys i'm almost at 10k subscribers so look harass people harass them harass them to come on stella so i'm just kidding i i have too much fun i mean i i hey happy yourself right happy yourself nobody will happy you so happy yourself 
so we are almost there so let's let's get the word out there let's share the videos let it let's invite people so if you guys don't have any more questions <laughs> ah! i can't read that comment oh moses i cannot read that comment oh ah, ah, laugh out too i look i i look to me i don't know how to hold grudge against people like I just, that is how God just made me. I don't know how to stay mad at somebody for too long. You have to, look, why would I want to hold a grudge against you? you we are here tomorrow. We are here today, tomorrow we are gone. Thank you, Akos. <laughs> you are here today, tomorrow you are gone. And I don't want to hold a grudge against somebody that, they are, like, you know, you see people the next minute, they are gone the next week. And I don't want to be like, oh, had I know I should have mended my relationship. So that is why me, I love to love. Laugh. Love. You understand what I'm saying? And I don't see the point of forcing to be who I am. This YouTube thing, I'm not, I'm not going to, like, change it just because I want subscribers or just because I want people to uh, watch my video. I'm not going to force myself as, look, take me as I am. Or leave me. Take me as I am. I'm not here to pretend. We are all grown. Or need to papa grow us and mama grow us. You, we are all grown. No one is a child. So enough of I'll come and sit here and, and you know. And today I had um Banku and I, and I call my girlfriend and she said Stella, what what you do? No, hey, free me, free me. Let me free myself. <laughs> I'm from Koforidia. That's why I'm so beautiful. You know, Koforidia flowers. I was born in Koforidia. So, yes, guys, I'm not pretending to be... If you know me personally, if you know me personal, personal, personally, I don't have too many friends. I don't have friends because I have just been stopped so many times. I still keep in contact with people, but I just... I don't have friends. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, man, Koforidia flowers. That's a, So, um, I just did my lane. I just will stay in my lane um i'm here for the food though i i know the video will be posted after this because it was a live video sorry sister tina you missed it but seriously it's important for us all to be ourselves that's why i always tell ladies look when somebody meets you like if you are um yet again in on this makeup issue you understand what i'm saying if you are putting on makeup and a man meet, that's why you hear people they will say that oh when she took her makeup off the the husband left the husband let let whoever you are with let them meet you in your natural form in your natural beauty if they will not accept you when you have bare face you have makeup now that they are going to uh, you know just be let us be, look that is what is wrong with the world because everybody is trying to be somebody else everybody is trying to be some me not me you and let me say in fact let me rephrase it some people are trying to be some people else let me let me say Yes, meet them. You see me because when I met my husband, you know, I um, I didn't have, I, I didn't even know makeup, lipstick alone. I didn't even know how to um, polish my mouth. I didn't even know. So when I started getting into this whole makeup thing to Stephen, it was very annoying. But he didn't want to say anything. It was very very annoying. You are beautiful. You have a beautiful skin. Why would you um, be a masquerade? I beg, take it off. So <laughs> that's what that's what happened. But. Beat people in your natural, be who you are, and people will accept you. But if you come on here and you be like, Hey, medium in town, medium in town, and I'm in town, so I ain't <laughs> seriously. But no, 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 no. We are all, I tell people, I'm going to with you, even if you are buried with the most polished caskets. Now, worms, them go eat you. Worms will eat you. So stop puff, puffing your body and trying to see like you're better. You are not better than me. I'm not better than you. So all my subscribers that you think, uh, Stella Zone, uh, um, if I email her, I don't know. I'll email back oh, unless I don't see it. Some of you, please be, bear with me. I'll email back. Who am I? I, I tell people, you shit, I shit, it stinks. Okay? Shit, I shit, it stinks. So... No, no, don't be like, oh, you're crassini and not. No, that's not. But the truth has to be told, okay? The truth has to be told. No, I, I don't see myself, you know. God will bring the harm, um, the proud. He will bring them down. He will resist. Uh, but if you, if you humble yourself, you see, if you humble yourself, he will lift you, take you places. Guys, I'm talking too much. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. 
um Stella Zoe. I know I'm I'm look this man I, I'm look we have more than one million people in Ghana. My Ghana people don't let me come after you. We have more than one million people. See me, people be like patronize, let this white people pet No, I want my own to patronize me. I want this African people, you understand? Let us support our own now. Yeah, I let us support our own. Support me, I will support you. You understand what I'm saying? That me, I sometimes I'm like, you know what? I don't, I'm not in competition with anybody on YouTube. I am not in competition because guess what? We are all not doing the same thing. So there are other YouTubers um who do Ghana dishes like um Obapa's Kitchen. Um, there's this Nigerian um lady. I'm I'm sure she's from Nigeria. Um, she's fantastic flavor. You know, there, there are people that you can you can watch. You understand what I'm? There is no need to be like oh I will not recommend her because then my subscribers will go and no guys. If you are real, people will not leave you. If you're authentic, people, it's when you're, you're behind is fake. You know, when you're trying to be fakey, fakey. Uh -huh. So, guys, that is it. Be yourself. I'm holding this lotion. I'm like, <laughs> so, guys, just be yourself. You guys know I really appreciate my subscribers. I really, really do appreciate you guys because the love you guys have shown me, it's real. And if you have not subscribed to my other channel, um, the... Barbara, thank you, thank you, thank you. Spread, in fact, harass people. Har get their phone, be like, subscribe to Stella Zoe, subscribe to Stella Zoe. So if you have not subscribed to my, um, my other channel, it's called um, Courageous Bride of Christ. Courageous Bride of Christ. Um, I will need you, I will need you to subscribe. I need you guys to subscribe to my channel. That is where I'll be putting some messages. I'll be doing a, a lot of live videos on that channel too. Um, on, on teaching about marriage and whatever God lays on my heart. I have, I just wanted to separate the food and um, that cha um, the messages that God lays on my heart. So I want to do that. If you don't know, now you know. If you know the know, now you know. Go to um, Courageous Bride of Christ or watch my video which says announcement. In the description box um there is a link in there which can take you to that channel spread the word uh i keep saying spread the word spread the word eh i've been running around i have to babysit my little brother this whole summer so wish me luck <laughs> wish me luck wish me luck all right guys i think i've i've said it all i don't want you people to say she likes to talk okay <laughs> you have to get married though marriage is a beautiful thing when you find the right woman okay marriage is a beautiful thing and to all the singles out there i pray that god will give you the man and the woman don't rush do not with what is going on in the world i will tell you don't rush be hey women we can pretend though hey my women sorry i'm not blowing our cover women we can pretend and nowadays some men can pretend so pa pass some women and they will, they will, look, they will be in the church, be sweeping the church. It's when you marry them that they will bring, they are, they are too, there's a lot of two-faced people. They say, these days, the, the, like the Bible said, the love of many has grown cold. So be careful. Be careful. If you are single, I am telling you, be careful. Pray unto God. For God, to, unto God himself tells you this is the man. Don't let your friends suggest for you. Don't let anybody suggest because they are not going to be the one in that marriage. Let God give you, direct you. This is the man for you. This is the woman for you. I'm telling you. Ha. Don't, ah. I'm telling you, don't make that mistake. A lot have made that mistake and they are regretting. Some have lost their lives. Some people too, they, even they are married, they did not wait on God and they ended up getting married to the wrong people. And they are suffering. If only people will come out and tell you what they are suffering in their marriage. Eh? You, you, let, us, let us learn from what is happening to people around us. Okay? Let, let's just learn. Let's just take a tool from them. It's not like you are laughing at their situation. But let us be careful. Let us be careful. I, I'm, I, Ghana today, even me, I said, I, I only left Ghana 2006. I will go to Ghana and I can't even watch. People in secondary school, they, I cannot even, I cannot even attest, you know, Ghana woman, they will know how to cook, they will know how to clean, you know, they, they, they will come to America, most of them, they know how to do this, they will come, that video is, you people see, I will get here, I want to do a short video, you people will end up letting me talk, and now you say Stella Zone likes to talk, I, let me shorten this video, but so, um, go to Courageous Bride of Christ, um, where we can talk more about this whole marriage issue, about what is going on, you know, be careful. And if you are married, it's not everybody you go to, 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 to parrot. Don't be parrot. 
don't be parrot. My husband, but this, my husband, don't be a parrot. And by doing so, you bring your own marriage down. Because what you are, it's like a hotel. Once you have checked in, somebody is busy waiting for you to check out so that they will check in you. People get make wild. So I'm telling you, pray. Pray for your husband, pray for your marriage. If you are single, wait on God. When am I going online again? I don't. Maybe tomorrow I'll be at the um, whatever God lays on my heart. I was. I know yesterday God laid the message on my heart, and I, may God have mercy upon me when you guys pray pray for me. So yeah. So tomorrow I might be on the um, courageous. I said I might be on the courageous bride of Christ. So just watch out. And you know that channel is new. So I'm. I created a Facebook page for it but i have to do some work but my people let us all be wise let us let us love each other okay the, the love of many has grown cold but your love can make a difference you understand what your love i'm not saying uh, the love that i'm talking about show brotherly love to one another to a neighbor to a stranger you understand what i'm saying whenever you can lend a, a helping hand um learn the helping and somebody was telling me i made a video about the whole incident so, uh, in ghana and somebody was like but what have you done about it but I'm, I'm i'm not the kind of person that will tell you i did this i saw people through i'm seeing people through I, I'm, I'm not doing that okay i have i have i'm passionate about cooking and i'm I, and i'm passionate about what god lays on my heart but I'm, I'm not going to sit here and be like come and donate come and do this whatever god gives me and touches my heart i will bless somebody with it so I'm not going to come. So don't look at me and be like, eh, but what is she doing? She No, I'm not. I'm not be parrot, I beg. I might like to talk. My talk is like journalism talk. No be parrot talk. Eh? Ch -ch -ch -ch. Hey, my husband bought me this. So no. So guys, that will be it for today. I am like sweating. My tacos getting ready. I need to eat. If you guys don't have any more questions, I would like to wrap it up. I will give, um, um, if you have, I will, I will just take three more questions. If you guys have three questions, Barbara, thank you. If you have, I will take like three questions and I will sign off. If you guys don't have any questions, I will just sign off. But if you have um, any questions, I would like to answer the questions, okay? So subscribe. Post post the link. Tell people. You have, all of you, most of you have Facebook. Me, I'm not on Instagram. I can't see my Instagram account. But if you have, tell people, my Ghana people, check this girl out. Subscribe to her channel. She is good. She's one of our own. I'm just, I'm just kidding. You don't have to do that. Well, I guess there's no questions. So I would like to wrap this video up. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Am I planning on starting a family soon? Are you going to do a live stream again? Moses, I will do a live stream. Melissa, hi. I will do a live stream every now and then. Am I planning on starting a family soon? Um, I am just whatever God decides. You understand what I'm saying? A man plans his ways, but the Lord establishes his path. Um, you will get, you, you, okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Prince, uh, my brother, see you, see you. Yeah, guys, yeah, so about the whole family thing. Like I said, a man plans his ways, but the Lord establishes his path. I, hopefully you know what I mean. You understand what I'm saying? Everything is in the hands of God when, when God decides, okay? When God decides. So have a fantastic day. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in. If you have not subscribed to my channel and you are watching me, please do so. Share this video. Invite friends, families, comment. Let's, let, let's get it done. I know, right? All right, guys. Have a blessed day. I know my husband said he was watching, but then God bless you. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. Bye-bye.